Hi, I'm Sophie. And I'm Hannah. And this is Perry. And welcome to Her World. <laughs> Today, we're going to be making a really fun duct tape craft. Hannah is the duct tape queen, and she's joined me for this craft. What are we going to make today, Hannah? Um, collars out of duct tape for our stuffed animals. Exactly. Collars out of duct tape for our stuffed animals. Now, we are going to be using Mr. Perry here as our model. Okay. And I guess the first question is what color duct tape should we make? Um, let's use this one. Okay. So, what we're going to do for Perry is we are going to basically make a little collar that's going to go around. Now, he has a little neck, so mm -hmm. we're not going to want to use the entire roll of duct tape. That would make more kind of like a turtleneck for him. Uh -huh. We don't want to do that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to actually divide this into three. Okay. So, I'm going to open that up like that. We're going to give ourselves more than we need, of course. Okay. And I'm going to have you put that down and spread it out like you normally do. Great. Perfect. We always do this just to get rid of a little bit of the stickiness. Okay, so now I'm going to have you pick it up and flip it over. What we're going to now do is we're going to fold up from the bottom just about a third of the way, and then we're going to fold down over from the top. So you take that end, I'll take this end. Okay. And we're going to fold it up about a third. That's good. And then flatten that out. Exactly. Perfect. It's flattening. Nice flattening. So we'll show the audience here what we have done. And you can see that there's still some stickiness above. Mm -hmm. We're going to fold that down next. Okay. You want to help me do that, Hannah? Yep. Okay. Here we go. Now we're going to actually make this collar, Hannah, so that it is adjustable. Because, you know, sometimes you want to wear your collar loose. Sometimes, sometimes you want to tight. Exactly. So there we go. Now we're done. Okay. And now you can put that around Perry and let's see how much of that he needs. So we're pretty good there with our collar. Yeah. So we're not going to need a little extra. Yeah. We're not going to need to cut any extra off. We'll show the camera there. There we go. Okay. So let's, let's take start. two key rings. So I've got these two key rings here and we're just going to put them side by side. And Hannah, okay. I'm going to have you slip those through there and you're going to bring the duct tape through and over. That's good. Through. Uh huh. So what we're going to do is fold this through, through and, and over. over. Like okay. That. Okay. And so now, that it makes like a loop around them. So exactly. You've made a loop around off. there, almost like a you know how a dog leash has uh -huh. a loop. Yeah. So same thing. And what we're going to do is take some duct tape, secure that into place. So I'm going to let you do that because you're so good at this. Okay. There we go. Now, if you wanted to, you could also gussy this up with another layer of duct tape coming in a different direction. I mean, you can always play with this and have as much fun as you want with different colors of duct tape. You don't have to use just one. Perfect. Okay, okay. so now you want to show them how it works? Okay, so that comes around here. Yeah. Now let's turn the turn birdie Perry. around. And you slide it through the two rings. And then... Back through the one ring. And then back through one of the two rings. Exactly. And now Perry has a very nice sporty collar. Now, something important. We don't want anybody to not know that this is Perry. We want everybody to know that this is Perry Styles. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> so we want to make sure that everybody knows that this is Perry Styles. So we're going to need to make him a little name tag. Exactly. So to make our name tag, should we use a different color? Yeah. Um, Probably not yellow because his chest is yellow. Yeah. You want to go with pink, blue? Mm, let's try pink. You got it. So for this one, what we're going to do is we're actually going to just take a piece of duct tape that's about four inches long, and I'm okay. going to have you fold this on top of itself. What you're basically doing is making a teeny tiny piece of duct tape fabric. Oh, that's okay. If it gets a little woodgy, it's okay. I know, once it gets stuck together, it's stuck. It's stuck together. Now, if it has little squidgies like that in there, don't get worried about it because we're probably not going to use that part of it anyway. So now okay. what we're going to do is I've got actually a one-inch hole punch, which I love these. These are really fantastic. But if you don't have a one-inch hole punch, you can just cut it out with a pair of scissors. And so should we make it a heart since it's Perry, Perry styles. styles? Okay, so I'm going to cut this into a heart shape. And see what I mean about it doesn't really matter about that squidgy because I'm cutting around oh. the squidgy. See, it kind of disappears. Yep. So now perfect. you've got the perfect little heart. Now I'm going to have you... Put a little ka-chunk, ka-chunk in the corner there. Very good, with a hole punch. She's going to leave about a quarter of an inch here because we're going to attach this. Nicely done. Ooh. That's okay. Got scissors? Oh, you got it. So we're going to attach this to one of our rings. Okay, so I'm going to oh. open up the ring, slide it on there. 
And you want to always leave a little extra there just so it doesn't pull through. Yep. Okay, now I'm going to have you with a Sharpie pen write Perry Styles. Perry Styles. And now Perry has its own personal name tag, which we will just slide right on. Perry. Exactly. I'm just writing Perry. Very good. So we'll, we'll work on sliding this on. <laughs> For more fun pet ideas that you can make out of duct tape, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.